got green cream somewhere that takes that away. I must run to use it. Um, I'm pinning this so that people, I've noticed every time I go uh, do a video, or in fact, if I go live, and I've been asked by TikTok to do a lot more live, so I will hopefully be going a bit more live a bit more. Need to organise a bigger screen. Can't see that. Anyway, ignoring that. Um. People always ask why I've got no hair or what's happening with my treatment. So I'm going to pin this at the top and then people can check it out. And then as things update, I can remake it again. So quick catch up for those of you who don't know. End of February this year, I was diagnosed with quite a large growth um, in my reproductive tract. It was removed at the beginning of May and it was staged out at eventually at endometrial cancer stage 3C. I then had... Uh, 25 sessions of radiotherapy um, a, to nu nuke it and then I had a bit of a break and then I started chemotherapy. Now when I went into chemotherapy I noticed that some I had lymph nodes in my neck that were quite swollen and quite painful so they biopsied those. I had two sessions of chemotherapy and about three or four weeks, three and a half weeks after the first one, my hair fell out. Um, I had a second session of chemotherapy on the 23rd of October. And at that point, the result from the biopsies in my neck came back and they showed that I had bowel cancer. Um, so my surgeon stopped the chemotherapy because the chances are were that he wanted to find out whether I had the bowel cancer I had bowel cancer at all um, and if I did have it was it connected to the endometrial cancer so they did a colonoscopy and established that yes I did have a lesion is what they called it in my bowel but whether it is connected to the cancer that was removed from my reproductive tract they don't yet know um, they've done a PET scan to see if there's anything else lurking that they don't know about we don't know the results of that yet um, but what will happen is they are doing histology at the moment and you can't rush that. If the two cancers are connected, they will give me another four sessions of what's called um, carboplatin and paclitaxel. Was it cisplatin, carboplatin? Anyway, another four sessions of that. I've had two of that. It's ch chances are if it's something else, there might be a better chemotherapy that they can give me. So if they need to, they will give me a different chemotherapy. Um, I might also be uh, suitable to receive immunotherapy. But until the histology is done, we don't know that. Um, my hair is starting to grow back because I haven't actually had any chemotherapy since the end of October. Um, but obviously when it starts again, it will presumably unless if I have the same one it'll be off I might have a different one it might stay um so that's it really uh I'm I'm only on hold while they do further investigations um and the reason that I'm on hold is that chemotherapy is really hard on the body and you don't want to be giving people chemotherapy if it's not actually going to be doing them any good and the reason that you don't want to be doing that is because it can make them quite weak and then if he needed to give me a, a more severe one my body might not be in a fit state to take it so it's always best when you've got the time because I'm well in myself I'm quite fit and healthy um, to get my strength so that whatever he wants to throw at me in the new year I'm in a good state to take it one of the things you have when you get chemotherapy is about four days before you're due to have a session they do a thorough blood test to make sure that everything's working properly because if, say, your liver or your kidneys or something isn't doing very well, they won't give it to you because it can kill you. So, and I'd really rather not die of chemotherapy. But I know that by having this break, it means that if they do have a look and decide they want to give me a particularly brutal version, bring it on. They can afford to treat me aggressively because I will be in as good a health as possible. So there we are. That's why I'm bald. That's what's happening with the cancer and I will update this as I need to.